Hey everybody, welcome back. So a little bit counterintuitive, but what I wanna talk about today is different than what I've been talking about, which is how to avoid fights, how to communicate more clearly, and how to really be open and honest in your relationship. So this seems a little counterintuitive, but today I'm gonna to talk about why it's important to fight with your significant other. Let's run the show reel, and there's more to come. So I'm standing on the side of this hill in front of the river. And the reason why I'm standing here is because it's a little bit of a challenge. It's kind of fun. You get a different view from things. I have to balance a certain way. It also is kind of a workout, which is pretty fun. But that's not my point. What my point is, why would you want to fight in a relationship? Think about it this way. If you're both being nice all the time and there's never any discussion about, I believe this way and you believe that way, is there any growth in your relationship? I mean, have you ever been in a relationship where you're totally and completely bored? Because everything you start talking about, you're like, yeah, I, I think that too. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I believe. And maybe you get all geeked out and can talk about it for a long time, but eventually like you aren't helping each other grow. So think about it this way. Often if there's no fighting in a relationship, it's because one person is always agreeing and being subordinate and you see that in narcissistic relationships, right? Narcissists demand that the person with them is always, always subordinate. That they are always making sure that that narcissist is the one that's right, the one that's in charge, the one that... You don't want that in a relationship, do you? So imagine now instead being able to have good open communication with your partner and say, I don't think that's true. Actually, what I think is this, or what I believe, or what I read, or my life experience says why. And maybe there's a little fight about it. Like, I can't believe you believe that. But the important thing about this fighting is it's not you're awful, you're mean. It's not accusatory. It's actually more like a debate where you're learning from each other. You're growing from each other. You're taking from each other's knowledge and wisdom and understanding, and you get a deeper understanding of who your partner is, how they think, how they interact and interrelate in the world. Now, doesn't that sound like the kind of relationship that you want? But think about it that way. Isn't that a relationship that you want? Like a person that respects you enough and respects themselves enough that however you believe, however you view the world can actually be discussed in an open and honest manner with honesty, with integrity, you create more interest about each other's lives, you create a level of respect, you challenge each other's beliefs, and you grow. So my challenge for you is if you are, there is zero fighting, zero debate in your relationship, look at yourself and your partner. Have they put themselves underneath you where they're always being compliant, complacent, yes sir, yes ma'am? And is that what you really want? Maybe it is. Some people love that in a relationship. Or are you doing that with your partner? Going along with whatever they say, with whatever they believe because you're afraid or because it just seems easier, right? We can be afraid sometimes to speak our mind because of what the other person might think or might believe. We can be afraid to say what we want because it's vulnerable and we get shot down. But is that the relationship that you want? Have you ever been in a relationship where you can communicate clearly? Or ever seen a relationship, a friendship even, where people are allowed to discuss and be really who they are? Wouldn't that be what you want in your partnership, in your relationship? So don't go out of your way to create a fight. Just know, what do you want from your partner? How do you want to grow? How can you engage more honestly in communication? Right? So it grows your relationship. Periods of peace with periods of debate all structured in a beautiful, loving way. So I've got more tips coming up on how to have better relationships. Please subscribe, like the video if you got even a tiny bit out of this. Tell me, what is it that you like debating about with your partner? And remember, you're love, you're loving, and you're lovable. We'll see you next time.